Okay, one last trick on range names called implicit intersection. So our file will be implicit intersection temp.xlsx. And the problem we're going to solve here, you can solve a different way using match and index function. We'll show you in a couple of videos from now. But let's suppose you have the Rockets, the Cavs, the Warriors, and the Knicks, and you have how many games they won each month. The Knicks can only dream that last year they won this many games. But maybe for you New Yorkers, they will come back next year with mellow, healthy, and a high draft pick and lots of free agent cash to spend. I hope so for New York City. Okay, so suppose I want to type in, okay, the name of the team and the month and get the games they want. Well, there's a neat trick in Excel where you're going to name each column with the month. We're going to name each row with the team. And an easy way to do that, just select the whole range, do formulas, create from selection, and it says names in top row and left column, and we want both now. See, now if I click on Rockets, I've named that row Rockets, the data. And if I click on January, I've named that row January. So all you got to do now is if you want to pick something out from that matrix of wins, type in the row range and put a space and type in the column. So Rockets in December, it finds where they intersect. Rockets in December intersects at 14. Now if I would say Knicks and January, it'll say 12. Oops. Equal Knicks space January, it'll say 12. And so that's an easy way to refer to the intersection of a row heading and a column heading. Now there's another way to do this where basically it, using match and index function or match and offset function. And we'll learn about those nice tricks later in our set of videos. Thanks for listening to our videos on Rich. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.